What is going on my friends, my family, my members of the Electric Empire? Welcome back to another video. Oh my goodness. In the aftermath of the 100,000 calorie challenge. You guys are all wondering, Derek, how much weight did you gain? How much did you spend? Why are you such an idiot? Well guys, I have the answers to all those questions, but before I answer all those questions, I gotta do something extremely important. Hi there, um, I actually just wanted to place uh, an order for takeout, please. Um, I'm gonna do, t uh, can you guys do 10 pizzas? 10? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, cool. Uh, so we'll do 10 uh, one topping medium um, pepperoni. Pepperoni pizzas? What would you eat? Okay, and that's gonna be all for you? Yes. Uh, so now uh, we're gonna go. They have McDonald's down there, right? It's terrible right now. Yeah, good job. Good job. Way, good job. way to go. I got, we got, I got a glimpse. I'm got... about to get a lot of food here, too. Hello. Please pull forward to the next speaker. Thanks. Welcome to my channel. May I help you? Uh, let's do. Can you guys do eight 20 piece McNuggets? A 20 piece? Yes. Yes, we do do 20 piece. Can I get eight orders of that, please? So let's see. We have 40. So would you like to have four 40? Uh, sure. Okay. Okay. So let's see. Did you ask me for eight? Or how many? Okay, how so many 20? eight or <laughs> eight orders of 20, <laughs> please. Okay, four 40. Yes. So would you like uh, sauces all the time? Uh, yeah, just a variety, please. Okay. <laughs> Do you want anything? Oh no, I'm good. I just say thank you. Oh man, look at that screen feel. Oh jeez. Oh, Do you need something else? Uh, yeah, we're gonna get a few more things. Three sausage McGriddles, please. Six cheeseburgers, please. And then I'm gonna get some fries too. Let's do six orders of fries. Uh, let's do small. I'll get okay, a large. Give me one second. That's fine. Or anything. What do you want? Let's let's do two medium Diet Cokes, please. Is that complete your order? That is gonna complete my order today. Okay. We have six cheeseburgers. We have uh, six small fries. Three sausage McGriddles and two medium diet. Sounds right. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Is this good enough for one person? <laughs> Alright, thank you. Should I keep filming or help you put those away? Do you want to have some of this with me? I'm just kidding. We can't have any of this. Alright All right, guys, so we're going to get a lot of pizza. This is going to be interesting. Shots right here. I'm trying to vlog here. It smells like. Uh, I just ate all this. <laughs> uh, ooh, dude, that actually looks pretty uh, not terribly disgusting after what I just ate. Alright, guys, so now we got a bunch of pizza, we got some McDonald's. We are going to be giving back to the community because this is the aftermath challenge. And you know what? One man ate 100,000 calories, one man can give back 100,000 calories. Do I look like Eminem with this? No, you look like a YouTuber. You look like what a... The, what the fuck is that supposed to mean? I look like a YouTuber. Yeah. I'm not gonna lie to you. This I could be this like the montage song. song of you getting all the food. <laughs> oh yeah, dude. <laughs> it flows so well. Hi there, uh, can I get the, I'm gonna do the 16 piece family meal, please. And your three side order? Uh, let's do macaroni and cheese, corn, and rice, please. Flour, corn, tortilla? Uh, let's do flour. Um, four orders of two churros, please, so that would be four times two is eight. So eight churros? Yes. <laughs> It'll be two fours. <laughs> you said flour, tortillas, right? Yes. Excuse me? Can I get some water, too, if that's possible? A cup of water? Yeah, just a cup of water. This is diet food. I drink. It's water. Water's good for you. What? How wonderful day. All right, thanks you too. Oh my god, dude, that smells like it smells it smells like churros and chicken, which is what I ordered. So Eric, Eric and his natural habitat. Right, get a Actually, show this, you might dude. not want to just be that like open about filming someone in spandex. No, no, Why are you won't. filming a biker? <laughs> All right, so we're in downtown San Diego right now. Here in San Diego, would you say this is probably like the largest place where there are homeless people at? Uh, concentration wise, yeah. So we're gonna we're gonna go around and see if we can we can help out some people, make some people's days. I already just saw one person, so we're gonna we're gonna try to make some people's days today. This thing says hungry. Anything helps. Hey guys, we got some McNuggets. All right. There's ten for you. Thank Twenty. You. Thank you very much. Yeah, guys, have a good day. All right. Are they still fresh? Oh, oh yes, they are. You want some pizza? We're giving out some pizza today. There you go. You have some, you have some drink ahead of it, Donald's drink. There you go, take mine. Right, have a good day. Have a good day. See ya. I'm a little late to the party. Oh, 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 oh. 
Take care, all right? Have a good day. Look at that. Two crowds. Anyone hungry? Yeah. 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 Uh, that's a really good <laughs> awesome, man. Some nuggets for you guys. Yeah. Anybody hungry? Want some pizza? There you go, man. It's pepperoni. You want two? There you go. For sure. Have a good day, all right? Thanks. God bless. You guys want some pizza? You guys hungry? You want some pizza? pizza? Cool, it's pepperoni. There you go. Thank you. Hey, take care, guys. Have a good day. You guys want some pizza? You guys want some pizza? Yeah. We got one pizza left. We're giving out. Thank you. Hey, guys. Go. Have a good day, all right? Thank you, take care. Thank you. So, status check. Uh, I think you got some McDonald's. Got a lot of fries. Here you go, man. Is this sauce in there? Y'all doing yeah. right today. Oh, yeah. How about yeah. you? Good. Yeah, we're doing good. God bless. You guys want some food? Yeah. There you go, we got some McDonald's. Thank you. My man, cameraman, we're good. We fed the homeless. I don't really know how many calories I just bought and, and gave out, but that was a substantial amount. We've done our good deeds for the day. I feel great. Happy? Thumbs up if you want to see this dude do a food challenge with me. It's like a tax pay. It's a what? It's like a taxi pay, like the calories you eat, you pay a tax, like some calories you gotta give back to. <laughs> the calorie taxi. Yeah. So the key to shopping at Target, bring in a reusable Walmart grocery bag. And a Target grocery bag, so you're not being a total asshole. Like I'm going in that section. Booster. How many calories booster is it? It's time for 2:30. It's 12:00. Some Nutella. If you know what I just ate, you would really strongly reconsider saying that. You know, honestly, up until now, I didn't know they had a nut section. Oh, they have a nut section. I know about the nut section. Look, a monster. You need a boost up there? Do. I was so hoping that shelf collapsed on you. Good, good choice. What's the 2018 opinion on Hot Pockets? These, are they still like terrible for you? I just, or is it just... I just I consume this. Right? He doesn't know it yet, but in the 100,000 calorie challenge I ate Hot Pockets, unfortunately. Apparently Eric is on this website called YouTube. I haven't checked it out yet. YouTube! This is extra crunchy. Now people are going to ask me about my opinion about crunchy and creamy. Or what are you? Do you like crunchy or creamy? Uh, crunchy for sure. I want some crunch in there. Okay, you're definitely fired. Actually, just kidding. Crunch is good. All right, so uh, let's take a look at our, our cart here. So we have peanut butter. We got a lot of peanut butter. We got some candy. We had to get some some chili as well, what? some canned goods, and we have Han Solo <laughs> yes. over here. So I think we are done for today. So we're gonna get all this home, and uh, we will see where we are at. What a beautiful tower he's got going. I got my water too. We should balance that right there. <laughs> I don't think that's gonna work out. Alrighty, people, so we got a lot of food here. My plan of action was to actually get 100,000 calories worth of food, so hopefully I'm near that. Alrighty, you guys, you can see right there, I'll post a little screenshot, we're at 105,000 calories for the donation process. Now it's time to take all this to the food bank. Yeah, I had to uh, I had to get the right headband on. They're donuts, people, and we're donating food, so. I thought it kind of made sense. And there we go, the North County Food Bank. Hi. Hi there, um, I just had a donation. For sure, do you need a receipt? Uh, no. Okay, Scott, happy to take that. <laughs> okay, cool. Happy to take it. All right, cool. Thanks, Thanks a lot. Hey. Okay. You guys have a good day. You too. Thank you. That was quick, and we are officially done with the donation process. And we are back. Oh my goodness. Oh, I just want to curl up in a ball. Oh. So undoubtedly a lot of you are going to watch what you just watched and say, Eric, you are such a tool donating to the homeless. You're just supposed to do that without the camera. Come on, man. The fact of the matter is I don't do that enough. And a lot of us in the world that have things like food, for example, don't do that enough. We don't give back. And so one of the big things that I want to start doing more of with my channel, with my platform, being on YouTube, being a YouTuber, is, is showing you guys more of what you can do in your community. The big thing for me is I did realize during the entire donation process that I have I have it extremely good. I have it way too good. We all have it way too good. Food is something that we all take for granted. I put myself in a situation that made me realize that, wow, that pizza that I that I can just go out and buy someone can't do that that made someone's day my whole point with everything that I just showed you is to encourage all of you to go give back to your communities in any way that you can whether it's volunteering whether it's donating anything when I leave this earth I want to be able to not just tell you guys or leave behind a, a, a legacy of a guy that just ate food on YouTube I want to be able to inspire other people not just with mental health awareness but with other things as well such as donating or just giving back to your community
if you guys want to know more check out my second channel link will be down below now to the questions you guys always seem to ask me how much did the challenge cost well it's hard to say because i did actually consume a lot of candy and a lot of treats that were sent to me during the challenge so i didn't actually pay for those but i estimated that to be definitely over 250 dollars to 300 dollars. so you add 300 dollars to the fast food cost, which was about $250. So we're gonna estimate it to be right around $550 to $560. That's insane, people. Now I did leave out the cost of the food that was donated because that's not really the whole point of everything. It doesn't matter how much all of that food costs. In fact, if I could have bought more food and given it all back, I definitely would have, but my car can only fit so much food in it. And to the next question, what does my pre-challenge and post-challenge protocol generally look like. The whole thing with all of that is uh, a lot of people like to fast and they like to restrict themselves tremendously before going into challenges like this. The few days leading up to the challenge, I generally drop my carbs down. I never ever fast. I think fasting is definitely not the way to do it and it will constrict your stomach capacity so you'll eat less on days where you plan to have a lot of calories. So that's definitely not the way to structure it either. And it sets you up to really just not have a good relationship with food. So just don't do that. Post challenge, I drop my carbs again. The day after I actually do something like this, you don't even want to look at food. Smelling food is even nauseating. So I, I don't do that. I don't eat the day afterwards just because again, I have such a large amount of, of, of food sitting in my gastrointestinal tract and my stomach as well still because it takes so long to digest. I keep my activity the same. I keep my cardio the same and I drop my calories tremendously. I don't count calories. So it's really hard for me to actually tell you guys how many calories I eat, but they are fairly low. Next question people ask me is how I'm able to exercise during calorie challenges like this. I've been an athlete for almost 10 years now, people. And in combination to being an athlete, I've been doing food challenges with all of that, with being a cyclist, with being a power lifter for a little less than five years now. So I know how my stomach feels and how my digestive system operates during exercise. The whole point of doing exercise during calorie challenges isn't to burn calories. You are not going to burn off 100,000 calories. It's almost impossible. The whole point of doing exercise during calorie challenges is to actually stimulate hunger again. If I just sat in my apartment and finished one meal, moved on to the next meal, I would not be able to complete my calorie challenges at all. Doing activity makes me hungrier. The next question is why I structured the meals the way that I did during the calorie challenge. Here's the thing, people. I would never recommend to do any of this to anybody, but I will let you guys know if you're going to try something like this, loading up on sodium and fat really early on in something like this is really going to set you up for failure because eating more sodium will make you bloated and combine that with a lot of fat and it's just not going to set you up for for having an appetite we'll just put it that way so i try to load up on a lot of carbs because as you guys know i i i can get i can go through the carbs i'm not a speed eater so i don't eat really really fast but capacity is on my side so load up on a lot of carbs and you're doing activity you can churn through those carbs really quickly so you guys will notice that towards the later end of the challenge you'll see a lot more sodium and a lot more fat i structured it that way because because I knew if I loaded up on carbs earlier in the challenge, even though I definitely ate more than I wanted to in the first day or two of the challenge, I loaded up on fat towards the later end of the challenge just because I needed more calories and I did not want to sit through another day of that. So I ate more fat towards the later end of the challenge. But I do want to say another thing with all this is that I try to minimize dairy as much as possible. Now I know I did eat a lot of chocolate during the challenge, but when I say dairy, I mean things like milkshakes, ice cream, things that are calorie dense, heavy cream, all of that is, is good and everything, but it will make you bloated and make you feel terrible, especially when you're eating a ton of it over the course of four days. The big question on everyone's minds is how much weight did I gain? How much fat did I gain? Here's the big thing with that, people. If you guys are new to the channel and you haven't watched my 60,000 calorie challenge video or the aftermath of that video, I'm going to let you guys check out a little snippet of that right now. Yeah, that whole scale thing doesn't really work for me. We're just not meant for each other. Headshot. Yeah, the scale and I, we don't really get along too well. I say what I always say whenever someone asks me how much I weigh. Scale can't measure sexy. Science says there are 3,500 calories in one pound. So science says I'm supposed to put on 28 pounds of pure fat after the challenge that I just did. I didn't put on 28 pounds of fat but I did gain a significant amount of weight. Here's the thing, people. All the calories that I consumed obviously aren't absorbed by the body. That is a large amount of food and that is a large amount of calories going through your system. It is not going to all be absorbed, but a good amount is. At the end of the day, there's not a lot of clinical research that's been done on calorie challenges like this just because it's so abnormal and not a lot of people in the world can actually do it. If you guys want to know more about the science behind calorie challenges and how it can affect the human body, body composition, and all that, I encourage you to go check out my friend Jeff Nippert's channel. He has actually a really good informative video on calorie challenge specifically the 10,000 calorie challenge and how that actually affected him I believe Stephanie Buttermore also has a video on it so go check out their channels links will be down below here's what I look like before the 100,000 calorie challenge this is why I'm a power lifter people I don't care about six-pack abs 
Not like I'll ever have them anyways. And here's what I look like after the 100,000 calorie challenge. Oh, all right, people, so this is a few hours after the 100,000 calorie challenge. Looking good, Eric. Looking good, dude. Looking good. So you guys will notice that there is a significant difference between the two, obviously just because I have so much going through my body. Post 100,000 calorie shot that you just saw was taken the night of the last meal. Now I know a lot of you are going to go, Eric, you don't even look like you lift. I don't really care about all that, people, but I wanted to show you guys how my body composition changed from before the challenge to after the challenge. I usually store a lot of the fat on my midsection and lower body, so you guys don't necessarily see all of that in the actual clips. You'll just see my stomach really expand. The body fat usually comes the days afterwards, and... Hopefully it'll diminish as the weeks go on. And the final question everyone's been asking is, Eric, what will you do next? Will you ever surpass the 100,000 calorie challenge? All I'm gonna say is after I did the 60,000 calorie challenge, I said I'd never do something ever like that again. And I'm just gonna ask you guys down below. Do you think it's possible? Do you wanna see that? Let me know down below. That's gonna be the end of the video, everybody. No, there's no food in this video. Sorry to disappoint all of you. But if you guys did enjoy the video, let me know down below. Subscribe if you haven't already. Be sure to hit that notification bell right next to subscribe so you guys get notified whenever a future upload happens. Follow me on my social media, Facebook, Snapchat, Twitter, Instagram. You know the drill. Thanks again for watching the video, everybody. Go right ahead.